Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is Apollo 11 being simulated in Orbiter using the uh, AMSO add-on by Elaine Cat or AC Soft. We are currently around um, 8,600 uh, kilometers away from the Earth, just after TLI. So we're headed towards the Moon, but before anything else, we need to do an operation called the uh, transposition and docking, which involves the uh, separation of the uh, command and service module, the one you see in front here, the capsule where the astronauts are, to the uh, rest of the S4 stack. Now directly behind the uh, command and service module is a fairing and inside that fairing is the lunar module which we can take a peek at inside here. Oops, it's not here. Anyway, uh, it'll be there once uh, we uh, open up the um, fairing later. So in order to do this I need to undock from the S4B stack. <laughs> which I'm about to be doing in a few seconds from now. And after undocking, I need to turn the uh, CSM around 180 degrees and uh, align with the lunar module still inside the S4B stack. Once I get aligned with it, I then thrust forward and dock with it and pull it out of the S4B. So now let's get inside the... Uh, we're going inside the command module. So we're inside the command module now. To my left is Michael Collins. To the right is um, Buzz Aldrin. And of course, here in the middle is Neil. In order to align with the uh, lunar module, to dock with it, I need to change or shift my view to this window over here with a targeting reticle. And that's what we're going to be using later. But for now, we're going to get back into outside view to, sh to show to you what happens when I uh, undock the CSM from the rest of the S4B stack. So we're going to be doing it now. Three, two, one, undock. Houston, we've got good separation. Okay, good sep. And as you can see, uh, it's like a flower opening. Those fairings are like petals. And you just saw, you just uh, seen the, um, you have seen the, uh, quad S-band antenna of the CSM open. At this point in time, I'm going to slow down the rate of my separation with the rest of the stack by these RCS thrusts. Okay, that's a good slowdown. And then, I need to turn around 180 degrees. So to do that, I need to first get back inside the uh, CSM. Let's go to Mike's view. And then, oh no no, let's go back to this view. And then slew up, and then um, do the pitch. We're turning around quite fast rate of uh, rotation there. Oops, to get back. There we see the... Stop drifting away from the S4B stack. So I need to go to linear. Start a forward movement towards the S4B stack and the LN. But first, I need to um, roll to the right left to align with that disc shaped object there with a T symbol. That's what I need to align with my uh, docking reticule, target reticule back to linear mode and slowly we're going to be moving towards the uh, there we go need to keep this aligned okay let's check external view 
shift to see if I'm doing well. Okay, look straight. Oops, we're a bit crooked, so I'm gonna slow down a bit and uh, do a roll. I mean, uh, a yaw maneuver. That's it, and then. Readjust. Oops, too far to the right. There we go. Slow down. Okay, let's check outside again. Looks like we're still crooked. We're still crooked, so. Park that thing. Okay. So there she goes. There we go. Hits and we show capture and hard dock. Congratulations. Okay, we've docked with the lunar module. So now we need to pull it out of the S4B stack. So here we go. Three, two, one. Houston, we've got good separation. Okay, we've separated from the S4B. And I'm engaging the uh, RCS first so that then we can pull it out. And there's the Eagle. Okay, nice separation from the S4B. Okay, so while uh, Neil and Buzz are removing their uh, helmets and their spacesuits, they actually they, they just did it, I think. So let's check up on them. There they are. 